Hi everyone, it's Desiree, and I am back with Hero Arts October 2017 kit, part one. You know, you would think with over 40 stamps along with some dies that this would be a piece of cake. No. All right. So for card number one, we're going to use the standard four and a quarter, five and a half top folding card base. And the die that you see there, well, first let's talk about these pieces. I used my Prisma pencils. I also used the embossing pen so that I could put the silver on the tree. And I also used there the Hero Arts White Puffy embossing powder. I don't, that was in another kit. I forget when. I'll make sure I'll link it down below. So this die that I'm using is a nested Sizzix die. I put it through my die cutter so that only the top portion would be cut. I'm going to create my own globe shaker. Maybe I shouldn't have given that away. Now I'm going to use a, a straight edge and I'm going to cut in between that. So now I have that shape. I needed it a little bit taller because that North Pole is, is really tall there. So now I'm just going to be building for the shaker, putting the acetate down. Um, then putting all the foam tape and so forth. But what I was saying before, I actually, when it came to this kit, I saw colored pencils. And I have the entire set of the Prisma colors, and I also have the entire set of the Spectrum Noir, which are both great. So, of course, I forgot to mark the spot where these pieces need to go. So I'm just positioning the piece so that I can mark the sides so that I know where to place them. So I'm just marking that top point there so I know that's the center. I'm going to put the tree down first, obviously. Again, everything's going to be set around the North Pole Station. And next is the clock tower. That's going to nestle right in behind that. And now we're going to secure the North Pole Station. These are really fun to color. So I'm just setting that in place to make sure <laughs> that we did this right, because you know me with my shakers. I have a small, I have these iridescent sequins, you know these are my favorite, um, and I have them in a smaller size, which I thought were perfect for a shaker. So I'm just putting them a little bit over the house, or excuse me, the station, and the scene that I have there. And you're probably sitting there going, hmm. There's a, there's a mark at the bottom there. Now, you see that tag to the top, the greetings from North Pole? Yeah, forget that. We, we changed that. So I'm cutting my own piece at the bottom of the snow globe, and that's cut at three and a half by five and an eighth. And I'm, excuse me, five eighths, not five and an eighth. My goodness, that would be huge. And I'm just scrolling on the sides, just cutting some notches. And now I'm using one of my brown Prismacolor pens, and I'm just scribbling. There's there's no rhyme or reason. I'm going to set this in my Doris wood grain embossing folder. And now I've got a kind of cool wood grain look to the base of my shaker float, whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to set that in place. Now we don't have that gap at the bottom. So yeah, we, we changed that. We didn't like the brown coming off the brown. So I'm using the piece that came from the arch on the other card there, and I'm stamping the sentiment, greetings from the North Pole. This embossing powder is gorgeous. If you have a Michaels near you, get there, and it is called Ruby Glitter. It is, or excuse me, just Ruby, and it is a beautiful glitter embossing powder. I'm looking for Dorothy shoes. So I used my EK Success tag punch that I have, and I punched a hole in it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Potting Soil Archival Ink. I know, everyone uses Vintage Photo. I just like this because it drives permanently. And I'm just going to ink distress around the edges with my finger dauber. I have some red and white twine, and we're just going to attach that like we would a tag. And now I'm going to hear that on the bottom with some foam squares. And I'm going to glue the string in place. And I specifically glued it on there because because of the dye, I had purple Sharpie markers on it and it went on the white card. So I had to, to cover that up. 
and then I'm specifically and strategically placing a sequin on the other side so that it hides the other mark of the purple Sharpie. So again, we never stop. We keep going. There's always ways to hide things. So yeah, this was, this was actually fun, but I think this was really cool. What I did really enjoy with this kit is the fact of the coloring. Found it very relaxing. I just stamped all kinds of images and went to town and violently shaking it so that you can see that. That would be card one. So for card number two, this, you know, there's always one. There's always a nemesis. This is it. Yes. So you could say I, I colored the train because there was no way I would be able to fussy cut that. I also used the glitter paper. And let me tell you what, this glitter went all over the place. Oh, my goodness. And I punched out three circles with that as well. The circles are five or three quarters and an inch. I'm also using the new Lawn Fawn stitched um, ornament die set. And yes, there's the wonky. Yep, wonky stitch die is going to be part of this. And I'm using the large one, and I wanted to cut that out. So you, you're kind of seeing, okay, she's going to go for a spinner. That's what I was going for. And then it went south quickly. So the thread that I'm using here is a DMC thread. Um, I used to do a lot of cross stitch. Um, so I have a lot of the metallic. So you can see I have three stripes or three strings coming down inside the ornament that's cut out. And now I'm taking the glitter, the glitter circles, say that 10 times fast, and I'm adhering them on the one side. And right about here is where I realized, yeah, this is not what I wanted to do. And the problem is because I have it set, you saw how I was putting the strings with the adhesion, it stuck to the front of the card. So we're just going to go with this. We're going to trim off those silver threads. See how we have needle nose glue applicators so we can get glue down the sides. But it's cute. They still wiggle. So we'll, we'll go with it. I think it's it's different. So now I'm using the glitter for the top of the ornament. I had to slide that down because it actually sets down into the die cut. This gorgeous bow for the top of the ornaments. It, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, but wow, is it fine. Please excuse the awesome Band-Aid on my finger still. We were just having fun over the weekend. So we are going to heat emboss our sentiment using the Hero Art Silver that came with the kit. This is a really pretty silver. It, I, I like the recollections as well, but there's, there's just something different about this. It's almost like a pewter. I'm using my Lawn Fawns Everyday Banners. I made sure that there was fishtails on each side. I'm going to pop this up using some foam squares. And know that when I use the wonky rectangle die, that measures four by five and a quarter. The die that I used before for the shaker, that actually measures four and a quarter by five and a half. It covers the whole front. Um, and that was the Lawn Fawn stitched. Here I'm using my Christmas red stickles. They may be old, but they are still a classic for me. I love the, the glitter stickles. I, I think they're great. Just adding some red accents throughout this card. To see they wiggle, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that was card number two. So card number three, blue. Think of blue. So I'm using these layering dies, the seam dies. So for the blue card stock that I have that's going to see, that's going to have the tree background, I'm using my Nouveau brushes, blending brushes, which are awesome. And I'm using Knight of Navy ink from Stampin' Up. And I'm just going across this piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for a smooth coverage. I just wanted just to die down that powder blue. So I cut out the trees. I've also used the white and I've cut out the village scene. Now I'm working on the mountains. So I'm going to use this awesome glitter paper. I am not a glitter person, people. <laughs> if you've noticed, I haven't done much with glitter and this glitter got everywhere. Look at this card. 
after I ran it through my die cut. This is the wonky stitch rectangle die, of course. Again, that measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm doing the same thing with this panel. It's a different, it's a darker blue and it's got a, a tint of green to it. So I'm really coating that up with the navy. And I love the way it's dark at the top and it just comes down. So I'm layering these on top of each other and realize, okay, we just need to trim some off the bottom. So I cut off th uh, three quarters of an inch off of each panel using my Tim Holtz trimmer. I want to take the white, as my finger was showing you, and I want to put that in the wonky stitch rectangle because I want the stitches to continue around. So you only have to do that to the top one. So now we're just going to set each of these layers in place using my art glitter glue and these applicators yeah that that little thing that's coming off i just got these applicators from amazon they are absolutely awesome but that thing that hangs off is amazing and got in my way a lot so i've appeared it to my panel i'm going to trim off the sides and now we're going to move on to the next one and we're just going to set that in place just to see how it looks against the mountains, making sure that it's even. Used a, a very heavy acrylic block because I'm trying to glue cardstock on top of glitter. And this is really glittery. It's, <laughs> it was amazing. I, I'm still, I still have glitter all over the place. So I cut out my white panel and now I set that in place. I set, actually popped that up on some foam tape. I'm going to set this down on a white four and a quarter by five and a half. This time it's a side folding card base. Now we're working on the sentiment and I chose the sentiment tis the season. So we are going to use again, the hero arts silver because I really liked it again. It, it's like a pewter and it melts beautifully. So now I'm just deciding where I want to put this. I decided I want to put that dead center on this card and then we just need to straighten it out because of course we went crooked so now I'm going to use my white gel pen and I'm just going to put some dots all over and then I'm going to make some stars throughout this piece and then again from AC Moore the Studio G line sits there and I'm trying out their silver um, what I do notice with them is they're really good. They do not keep their shape, though. So if, if you're using it like a Nouveau, they do flatten themselves out, which I was okay with this card. That is card number three. Card number four. Again, we're going to use that Lawn Fawn stitched ornament die. And I'm using some of the, the other two pattern papers um, or textured linen papers that came with the kit. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then I used a gold metallic material, uh, uh, cardstock, excuse me, from my stash. I've cut all my pieces. Now I'm just taking my Versamark and I'm pouncing it onto a piece of white cardstock. This is the Nina Solar 80 pound. And I'm putting the Hero Art Silver down on the bottom. And then I want it to fall onto the other side. I don't want to pour it on the other side. Now I'm pulling out my recollections gold and I'm putting that down there and then I'm letting it fall on the other side as well. And now you can see I'm actually really mixing it together. I wanted to get a slight blend. I still wanted to have the line, but just a slight blend. I just wanted to show, isn't this awesome when you watch this melt? I think it is just, I think it's cool. And yes, I let this dry the way that it should. And I'm actually using a My Favorite Things Joy dye for the sentiment. And I think it looks really cool. So you've got the, the pewter silver at the top. Yep, there, the wonky stitch dye's got to make a, an appearance there. Again, that's Nina Solar White 80 pound that I'm using. You can see the three ornaments that we have here and we're just going to set them in place so the first one has the um, squares the square design or the way that we're holding it diamonds if you want to say it that way and now i'm just building my ornaments on the card 
the the bow attachments up at the top they were just so fine these are just so fine um when it comes to when they cut this but they're absolutely gorgeous so now i'm just adhering that again letting it run off the top i chose to adhere the gold one next and you can see i want to snip that to make it look like it's going behind the one that we put down first so i'm making sure i cut another angle and then just making sure that i'm putting that in the same line of where that one's sitting yeah that made so much sense but i know you all got that it was just horrible sounding and then for the final one we're going to pop that up of course you all know my foam squares because i have to have dimension gotta have the different levels I'm using a pair of tweezers just to put a small piece of foam square in the back of the ornament top. We're trimming off the tops of them. We're going to adhere this to a black top folding four and a quarter and five and a half card base. And now we're going to adhere our sentiment. I'm just worrying about the large areas when it comes to the sentiment. Just putting dots in other areas. Now, this paper that I'm putting this on is very textured. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, again, I used the acrylic block just to put some weight on it. Um, and I removed the part of me really pushing down on it um, to make sure that the glue got in there. Pulling out the gold stickles. And we're just going to add our accents in that along this card as well. That is card number four. So for card number five, well, as I say there, it's, it's really a design number five. We're actually gonna get four cards. I'm actually gonna show you again, these are Prisma colors that I used because there is no way I was going to fussy cut this <laughs> these images out. I tried, I did on one card, um, but wow, this was amazing. So I'm actually going to show, we're actually going to do a, a, an assembly line here. So I'm using the first sentiment in the upper right-hand corner, greetings from the North Pole. So for each one, and I use the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle for this base, and it's actually measures four inches by two and three quarters, the white that I'm embossing on. And then the card bases actually measure three inches by four and a quarter. So you would cut it six by four and a quarter and score at three inches to get this size that I created here. The next sentiment that I'm using says happy holidays from all of us. So we're going to do that on the next four. Not the next four, the same four. Again, using the Hero Arts Silver. When it came to the embossing of the sentiments. And the pencils that I actually used for these, these are actually my Spectrum Noirs. Um, I forget the, the color blends. They are really good. Um, there's five sets of 24. Yeah, I had to have all of them. I also have all 150 of the Prismacolors as well, too. Each of these white panels are, I'm using foam tape and we're gonna pop them up on each of the bases. And here I have a light blue, I have a navy blue, I have a dark teal, and I'm using a craft for these bases. And now I'm just adding postage. So now you can see what we're doing here. So I'm adding 25 cents. Probably should have looked at what I was using before I cut these out. The die that cut this out, this is a nesting set from Hero Arts, and it's their stamp cut dies. Um, I had to have them. So with these little tiny images, I created stamps. So now I'm using an archival ink in gray, and I'm just going to ink around the edges just so that they would stand out a little bit. Um, I usually do like the white on white, but for some reason I just wanted these to not only have dimension with the foam squares, but just 
stand out just a little bit more um, when it came to this. I think these are a great idea if you are one to send out Christmas cards, something sweet, simple. You could even fit a gift card inside when it comes to this type of a design. We're just going to accent each of these with three of the iridescent sequins from Darius. Very simple, nothing too fancy, but I think they really do make a statement for the holidays. These cards here are perfect if you are that person that sends out tons of Christmas cards or holiday cards for the season. I am not that person, but I love to make them. These are the cards that we made in the Part 1 Hero Arts October Monthly Subscription Kit. Um, I hope you did enjoy this. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date because there is so much more that's going to be coming out. If this is the type of video that you like, hit that like button. That helps to tell me what's liked, what's not liked. We are getting close to making our cards for the holiday season. So we will be seeing more, but we'll also be seeing that pop-up card that a lot of you did ask for. So we will be making that as well. All the products that I use will be listed down below in the description with links on how you can get to them. Again, if you have questions, please leave them down in the comments. And remember, everybody, be creative. Take care.